Sitting in traffic in downtown Austin is bad enough on its own, but imagine if your life was on the line. It's what ambulance drivers face every day, many of them driving up from Hayes County. But that could soon change. As KXN's Lauren Landman reports, a local hospital is getting ready to treat more of those trauma patients by the end of the year. From the beginning of 2016 to the end of this year, Seton Medical Center Hayes says it will go from having to transport every trauma patient to being able to treat almost all of them. The community deserves this level of care. A lot can change in two years, including the flow of traffic on major highways. The traffic itself can be a, a real hindrance to transport times. The hospital in Kyle has ambulance drivers working hard, picking up patients from Smithville to San Marcos to Blanco. But it's not the 60 mile drive that's taxing, it's the 20 miles into major cities. All of those services tell us the same thing, which is it's growing more and more difficult to get patients into the downtown Austin and San Antonio areas. The hospital knew it needed to grow and quickly, so it's working to advance from a level three trauma hospital to a level two, increasing their ability to treat more severe injuries on site. There's a few really specialized things that will still need to go downtown. But the vast majority of traumatic injuries uh, and conditions would be able to be treated right here at Hayes. Letting locals stay local and ambulance drivers stay out of traffic. Lauren Landman, KXAN News. The hospital says that it hopes to achieve the level two trauma status by the fall of this year.